Dear reader, let me start by offering my apologies for my blunt way of writing. I can but say in excuse of it that I am more accustomed to handle a rifle than a pen. I am no stranger to exaggeration, yet however unlikely the tale I'm about to tell might seem to you, it is how I remember it. For I've learned the hard way that all things live forever. Oh, at times, I see A great name can be an even greater burden. My special talent to attract problems just kicked in. Another thing that seems that I inherited from my famous ancestor. We sure picked a lovely day to meet your ex-colony. I very much doubt that there is ever a day without a sandstorm around here. And he would probably object to the word colleague. I wasn't a field agent back then, after all. Only intel. The nagging voice of bureaucracy, as he so eloquently put it. In any case, I'm sure he'll be worth the trouble. You're seldom wrong, Professor. But today might be just one of those days. Hey, stop! You should pick your drivers more carefully around these parts. Professor, meet James Lee Quatermain. So many books. I thought you'd be more the magazine type. Yeah, they came with the flat. Since you've come all this way to find me, I guess you don't just want my great-grandfather's compass for your personal collection. No, it's of vital importance to our mission, and thus to the fate of our nation. Sounds dramatic. I think the price just went up. But more importantly, I want you to join our mission, Mr. Quatermain. Look, Professor, I called a couple of old friends and did some background checks on your little agency. I'm not really interested in that mythical nonsense you guys investigate. So I'm afraid I'd have to... I've done some checking of my own, Mr. Quatermain. On you. A gambler as notorious as yourself could use some extra cash. And Agent Goodwin could use someone with experience out there to watch our back. Here. This belonged to your great-grandfather. You'll need it. This is gonna cost you. I hope you know that. Oh, what the hell. Just let me finish my breakfast.
My great grandfather, Alan Quatermain. His name, a byword for adventure, and my main source of income. A lot of people paid good money to say they traveled with a Quatermain. And I did whatever anyone would pay me for. Even played babysitter for a greenhorn agent. Our informant among the Nazis briefed us if we tried to get into the temple. We failed to open the gate to the inner sanctuary. They left, but we're sure they will return. Where they failed, we have to succeed. Just remember the deal. I get you in, I get you out. And that's my role done. You get your artifact, whatever else I find, I get the key. Spoken like a true hero. Spoken like someone who's worked for Uncle Sam before. He considered all this to be a trap. Our informant's been leaking viable data to us under the alias Shepherd for months now. We can trust him. Sure. If you say so. We have to be careful. You remember my driver? The Arab who tried to steal my bag? He was part of a tribe of thieves who believe Egypt's cultural heritage is theirs to plunder. When clearly, we all know that's Uncle Sam's job. Go in, get what we came here for, and get out. I like the sound of that. Careful. I don't like the sound of that. Much for the welcoming committee. I know you don't believe in any of this, but what's inside this temple might change that. Have you any idea what might be inside the sanctuary? Only one of the most powerful artifacts to be found in the written histories of man. The Heart of Atlantis. <laughs> 